What do you think? You want to play? Annetta Liddy couldn't be prouder of her two-year-old daughter Rosie and her twin sister Georgia. Rosie's beaten the odds after her doctor said her chances of survival were slim. Rosie was born with the rare genetic disease Cornelia de Lange syndrome. It's a spontaneous genetic mutation um, and it happens during formation. Mm -hmm. So um, in this case, they're fraternal twins, two completely separate embryos. Um, and the spontaneous mutation happened in Rosie and didn't happen in Georgia. Until a few days ago, Rosie spent most of her time lying down, being held or sitting in her high chair. Then these students showed up with a walker that's changed the way Rosie sees the world. It's designed just for her. She really has enjoyed standing up and being able to like look at everybody and hang out. She hasn't quite gotten a hang of walking in it yet, but, but she's getting there. Rosie's therapist suggested to Annetta she learn to walk. Since she's so tiny, only 11 pounds, she needed a walker that would fit her frame. Annetta contacted a volunteer organization called V-Link. We connect these volunteers who have skills and compassion with people with disabilities or whose family members or loved ones have disabilities to help them be more independent. V-Link contacted the Johns Hopkins Whiting School of Engineering. A team of five students took on the challenge and built this walker for Rosie. This is what we love to do. We're applying what we've learned uh, at school to a project to, to help Rosie out. Uh, I couldn't think of a better way to utilize what we've learned. It's cool to actually like put like what I know to use and see like how it really affects people. Now, Rosie can try to keep up with Georgia and her older twin sisters, Emma and Lily. We kind of just say, okay, Rosie, show us what you can do. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.